Hello guys, welcome back to After Inspell. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix Android multi-touch problem. So, if you're having some multi-touch problem in your Android device, there are a few things that you try to fix this problem. So, the first thing that you want to do is you may want to look at your device here and see if it's uh, actually clean. Now, sometimes dirty or uh, devices or Android phones that phones that have like uh, dirty screens or anything that has the dirt or any grime in your screen can cause those multi-touch problems. So you may want to get some simple cloth out there, maybe some warm, warm water here and just clean your screen and see if that actually helps. Now, if that doesn't help and you're sure your phone is clean and it doesn't have any oils or grime at the screen, well, there are a few things or other, uh, other things that you could try doing. So another thing that you could try doing here is you may want to check your settings. Now, you want to go open up your settings here. You want to go to search settings and you want to go and just choose or search for gesture. Now, if you're not aware yet, sometimes gestures can uh, cause problems in your uh, system here. So what you need to do is you want to go ahead and go to gesture shortcuts and you want to basically disable some of the uh functionalities that you're currently using right now like for example you may want to choose the take screenshot here uh, take a screenshot and you may want to go and disable the slide three fingers down to take screenshot now once you've done that you can go and go back in here and you want to do this for any other options that you have out, out here that uses like uh, gestures or anything that moves around in your screen here using your fingers now also you may want to go to your gestures a section here now, from here, you may want to go or switch over to buttons instead. So you can go and just choose buttons instead of gestures. Well, by the way, the options or settings here might be different for you. So depending on what device you're currently using. Now, another thing that you may want to do is you may want to make sure that your phone is fully updated. So you want to go to your settings. You want to go to about phone. And if you see any update button or download button here, go and just click on it or press on it. And just wait for the update to complete. Now, once update is complete, you can go ahead and basically wait for it to restart and see if that solves your uh, problem or your issue now if none of this actually work for you uh, there are going to be a few things that you need to remember here so the problem itself might be because of hardware issues so uh, with that you may need to reach out to a technician or schedule a uh, appointment with a technician here just to get this solved because most likely again it's going to be a hardware uh, issue not a software issue here so there's nothing much that we could do but that's about it so hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.